It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? Hold on tight. We're in for an exciting one. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. I got you, baby. Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. And we are underway in Buffalo. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. They start the drive with Cook. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulting. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On the ground, here's the fourth round pick from April's draft. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a pickup of 17 on that one, and a Bills first down. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. The way this game is going, the way that they possess the ball on the other side of the field, you go three and out here, you might not see the ball again until the second quarter. Now Allen. Man open, that's Marquez valdez Scantling, And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, 
you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills' opening drive yields three. So a pretty good opening drive that will make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Now a hit and a loose football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. First down, here's the run with Cook. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. So the shotgun snap to Allen. This is Coleman with a grab. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. It's a gain of four there and it gives them a new set of downs. They didn't need a big play there. They just needed a conversion, but I'm really downplaying it, aren't I? Getting a conversion, picking up a first down, not easy in any aspect. How about that one right there? Yeah, with the dive, knew where the line to gain was, went soaring past it. Yeah, that's doing it by any means necessary. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. Here's Allen. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Throwing now is Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Allen going to throw. This is caught. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward, and indeed he did not. They stop him. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and that will force a turnover on downs. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in, and if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high because mentally you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. On 
on the ground with a tight end. He'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Gregory Russo able to bring him down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. So I remember when playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. There's a lot about that play you can easily see coming. Backed up in the shadow of their own goal line. Pressure. He's lucky his arm was going forward. It was close, but it was going forward. Yeah, it could have been a safety or even giving up a defensive touchdown. Here's Murray back near his goal line. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And they'll get him down short of the first down right on the 10-yard line. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And you wonder if they'll just take this 3-0 lead to the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. To the air, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Now Allen. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just the lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just one field goal in a tightly played first half as we resume action here in quarter number three. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think they get back in balance. It'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. First carry for James Conner. And Conner going to pick up a Cardinals first down as he's going to get this down to the 45-yard line. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Throw left side complete. That's counter. 
And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Here's Murray. He finds his man complete. That's Harrison. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Murray again, this is Connor. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Play action. Now it's Murray. And well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. But that plays a statistic. It's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right? The overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. And here come the Bills. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. It's caught by Coleman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. He's going to loft one deep left side here. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get. 
and the more calm and control you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against it. And showcasing those strong legs on that run, getting through one tackle, now she winds up getting eight there. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Here's Allen. Again, it's Cook. And he's able to get it down at a two-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Here we go, first and goal. To throw is Allen. Davis will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Trailing 10 to 3. Under a minute 20 to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Now Murray. That pass completed to Dorch. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Murray to throw. Got his man, it's Dorch. And he is going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understanding where they are in the field? To throw is Murray. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Plenty of time, and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. Back to throw, Murray. He finds his man, complete. It's Harrison. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Here's first and ten. He's back to throw. Able to get this one to McBride. And down inside the 15 he goes. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet, as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Back to throw. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. 
They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So the drive there took six plays. And the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. So now after the clutch field goal, he's back out there to boot it away in what's now a tie ball game. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? They'll try again here. Second and ten. Allen. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Throwing Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end Knox. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's first down. Now Allen. Boy stays out. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And his kick is good. From 49 yards away, he nailed it. And the Bills are going to get out of here winners. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there and asked for some help. Like, guys, we just don't have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. Said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.